In science and in everyday life, we rely on models to help us understand our world. So the scientific model is really how we understand the universe. Generally, we want these models to you know, accurately describe what we already know, but also make new predictions. The scientific model helps you describe the world around you, and it allows you not only to understand previous data that you've taken, but it also allows you to predict future observations. For instance, you may have been told that all the energy on Earth ultimately comes from the sun. But is that a good model of how energy works in reality? To put this model to the test, we can think of some real-world examples. The food energy that sustains us ultimately comes from plants, which get their energy from the sun. And it is the solar energy, captured in plant material and buried underground for millions of years, that is the source of the oil and gas we use to power our vehicles and heat our homes. Consider the power of falling water that a hydroelectric plant uses to generate electricity. That water falls because at some point it was raised up to a higher elevation by the sun through evaporation. Wind turbines move because the sun warms our planet unevenly and the differences in air temperature create wind. And solar panels transform the sun's energy directly into electricity. So far, our model is holding up pretty well. But consider a nuclear power station that uses radioactive elements to produce electricity or a geothermal plant that generates power from energy stored within the Earth. It turns out that in both these examples, the energy being transformed does not have its source in our Sun. So our model that all energy on Earth comes from the Sun is only partly true, but incomplete. It works for many things, but not all things. That is the way with scientific models too. Even at the leading edge of modern physics, sometimes discoveries are made that current models can't fully explain. Sometimes you see a piece of data and you're like, but this is not what we would have predicted from our current theories. We have these models, quantum mechanics and gravity, that could explain almost everything we, we understand around us, from uh, elementary particles, chemistry all the way to stars, galaxies, planets. However, there is some place where these fail, and one of the most notable places and most surprising places that this failure has happened was understanding the expansion of the universe. For a long time, we've known that the universe is expanding, and we always assumed that the rate of expansion was slowing down because of gravity. But by measuring the distance to faraway galaxies using supernova, we've discovered that not only are they moving away from us, but they are doing so at an accelerated rate there must be some form of energy that we had previously overlooked, which is now called dark energy. We realized from these supernova explosions that our universe is expanding faster and faster, but we didn't have any model that could explain what causes this. That's kind of the problem with the status of accelerated expansion of the universe, is that there is no model that quite fits everything you expect. The only sort of thing that could explain that, since gravity is sort of always attractive, is something that is repulsive. So we don't quite know what dark energy is itself. We just know it, a few properties. One, it causes the expansion of our universe at an accelerated rate. So that's the critical property. And then we have some more uh, properties that we get from like um, other observations and thinking. I think there are ways of explain, explaining it, but they're not quite satisfactory. So they think you can explain some things, but then you kind of violate other things. And that's kind of the puzzle that we're trying to understand. How does it fit into our theory? Does this mean other parts of how we do calculations are not correct? Uh, or is there a wider framework that would explain why this number is not what we expect it to be? And I think that's what drives us as, as physicists, that there are things that are that are not explained, that there are these puzzles that we can hope to understand in the future. At the moment, physicists have more questions about dark energy than answers. But asking the right question is usually the most important step in any scientific breakthrough. <laughs>